So I clicked out of Crusade Kings 2 accidentally on my dual screen and it crashed the game. So I'm pretty sure we only went back a month or so. Actually, maybe even less. Yeah, it looks about right. Have we got that guy in our... Yes, we do. Yeah. I think we only went back a few seconds, maybe. Oh, that's good. Okay. Let's continue with the war. Alrighty. King Robert now favours Prince Simon as heir to the Kingdom of France. I expect we'll get another little pop-up saying he then favours himself. Mm, yeah, forget about him. Yeah, there we go. He now favours himself. Bishop Ormond. Somewhere. Nobody important. Of there, I see. Rosendo of Iquez claims he would be a better Chancellor than Richard because he's got a higher score. Richard will hear of our patience. He's done well so far. He's got us those two counties. I'm willing to cut him a break. Okay. We might need our vassal troops to crack that shell. Uh, yeah. That. We can't raise any of our own personal levies, though it would be a good idea. We'd lose all progress on the siege, though. So I think what we'll do is we'll just raise our vassal levies instead. And hope that we can take the place quick enough. We can only keep them raised for two months before they start getting irritated at us. But that's okay. We can live with that. Come on, hurry up, get in there, get in there, go. I mean, we can keep them for longer, but it depends how much everybody likes us. Herman doesn't like us, but that's because we have been in charge for not very long. Defending troops take casualties, merge everybody. Our holding is under siege, yeah, good luck with that. We only need them until the end of this particular siege, so as soon as that's over, I'll separate them back out and take them home. Come on. William's staying strong, which is good. Now the thing with this Crusader trait that he's got here is everybody who has it gets a plus 25 bonus both ways in their relationship with him and the church automatically gets one because they like crusaders so he's actually got a fairly good trait if we decided to raise our army and actually go on crusade so next time that there is a crusade we might just do that come on get me the barony Come on. There we go. 89%. 93. Come on. 98. Nice, nice. Okay, Richard will still sort of like us. Hmm. You know what? Yeah. Because he's actually not that bad at his job, so we'll say yeah, he can be. And we'll send him off to fabricate claims on... It's owned by King Robert. Let's see if we can get Rens. If we can get Rens, we can start getting a foothold into Brittany. He's got a 15% chance. decent enough. Alright, and stop. Now, new unit. We don't want... Wait. 
Ah, okay, they're all named liege levy, so we don't want that liege levy. That one, or that one, or that one, or that one. So we should have... Yep, there we go. So we'll select these guys, send them back. They can hopefully kick the crap out of these fellas. And then we'll send them home. A message about offer peace. We gain the county. We gain... 100 prestige. And he loses it. Yeah, we'll do that. We have usurped the title. And I believe we did it all quicker than was necessary. These guys... Oh no. No. They did, but everybody likes us. At least at the moment. So we've become the Count of Paris as well. Nice. And again, we didn't get any uh, negatives attached to that, because we are also Norman. Nice. So we'll start by upgrading the castle village, because yes, we need it. Money is good. Money is what makes the world go round, remember. And we could upgrade these, or at least bits of them if we wanted to. I think we'll upgrade the low stone wall, because that'll give us more levies. Does this one have a... no, nope, already has a medium stone wall. We couldn't afford it, but it already has one. I happened to meet Baron Hugh. After promising him not to divulge any information outside the realm, he decided to share with me some military advancements. You, you realise that you shared them with yourself, right? But that's fine. Vassal inheritance warning. Why? Oh, okay. It's referring to the fact that we have free investiture, so we can decide who we want to be the successor here. So, let's see. Do we have anyone with fairly high learning? Sort of. I don't think it's all that worrying, though, because he's in... Oh, I see. He's in you. Well... We don't really need to worry about it, because that'll be part of our realm soon enough, anyway. Awesome. Wow, he managed to get another... He managed to get one already. We'll have to let it go, because we currently don't have the money. And I'm pretty sure that if we did that, we'd have to fight the king. Yeah. Because he's the direct vassal of the king and the heir. So I think we might have to fight him if we did that. So we'll just content ourselves with sitting around, making money, building up bits... I sort of want to try and take another bit of Normandy, mm. but it's not really going to happen at the moment. We cannot use a title from anyone in the same realm without a strong claim. So we'll current, we will hold these three counties. That'll give us over half of the... Uh, it'll give us over half of the duchy. But then we'd need to claim it. I'm hoping that what he's going to do is he's going to give Normandy away to somebody. But it's a very profitable area, so he might not. We can demand the duchy, though. And he might actually give it to us. Again. Ugh. No, we have to throw it away. Uh, are they? No, they're Breton. So if we conquered them, we would have to worry about a culture malice. 
I thought she was already kind. Apparently not. <laughs> not so much. I've collected a tithe. Excellent! I like tithes. Tithes are good. Now we'll hold on to the money for a while because hopefully we will be able to declare war on him while these guys are fighting it out because that civil war is going quite strong. The Scots might keep people tied up for a while. And And Harcourt, our genius, has become a Midas Touched and she's god damn brilliant at everything. Okay, we need to find her somebody who is equally brilliant at everything. No, you're not very brilliant at anything. You, on the other hand, are a genius as well, and quite good at a lot of things. And for some reason, we've got house no text for key house. That's irritating. Okay, but we will get much prestige from this. Do it. I want her married to that man. All children of the Union will be of her dynasty. Excellent. Now, something you can do is you can demand that people convert to your cult... Uh, not your culture, to your... Um, religion. Oh, he's already Catholic. I thought he wasn't. We can give him a title if we wanted to, but we don't really need to. It's not very important how much he likes us. Uh, name down beggar. Yeah, okay, whatever. The nice thing about these two is that they're both geniuses. So hopefully they'll produce a child who is also a genius. That's still not important, so go away. And Bernard de Harcourt is now also old enough. He is quite good at stewardship. So let's see if we can find him a match who will do well. An Irish girl of the Uabrian. She wants to marry a ruler, ideally. But she's got good stats, and she's about the right age, so let's see if she'll agree. See, why does that... That's weird. It works for males, but it doesn't work for females. That's interesting. Alright, well, let's marry her to him, if the Duchess will agree. It's interesting. It bothers me that my liege holds a title that should rightfully be mine. Oh, I can ask him for it. Alright, well I will request it. Maybe he'll give it to me. You never know. Dear Vassal, I fear you have failed to convince me of the justice of your request. Regretfully, I cannot. You bastard. Okay, they got married. But that's what happens when you hold too many duchies. Your vassals get the option to begin asking for them. But I can't demand the uh, the duchy from him anymore. Because he refused us. Character has arrived at our court. That's nice. It's the good lady. So how's Queen Mary doing? They've got two kids. One of them's half decent. The other one's sort of kind of okay, I guess. He's my grandson. He's heir to lots of places. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. A week, the week before the tournament was a stressful one. Stands for the spectators had to be erected. The knights who arrived needed housing, and my armor need to be refitted. The wine will flow afterwards, or of course I won't win anything. The wine will flow! Let there be wine. He's 65. He's still chugging along. At age 17... Oh. What 
did he die from? He died a natural death. Swell. Okay, well... Let's see if we can get her another genius. Or at least somebody good. Um... No, you're chased, so we don't want you, even though you're kind of good. Let's go with... We want somebody with a good all-round mix of skills. No, we don't want you. Oh, we should choose matrilineal as well. So somebody who's willing to accept a matrilineal marriage. We could get the steward of the Catalan band. But that doesn't give us anything, and he's ill. So, no real point there. Let's see... Who else is there who's sort of good? I guess we could get the steward of Mentone. Let's see, who's got a high... no... Hmm... No, see, we need somebody with high stewardship. Damn. Let's leave it unmarried for now. See if somebody else comes up who's good. Cause you never know, they might. The Duchess of Lothian. Still playing shenanigans. A courtier that's dead. It's good though that they're dying from natural causes. It's more worrying if you start having people die and it's from assassination or sickness. Right. So in September, if we haven't managed to pick up yet another trait that makes us bad at fighting, we will attempt to gain some traits from the hunt. Now we can declare war on this guy. And we might. We can declare war on him for the county claim on this. He's currently revolting against his liege. If that conflict ends, our war ends too. But he's fighting, which is the important thing. Is he winning? Yes. Oh, and if he wins, he becomes king. Well now, that is interesting. Well, the county will hold, so in the inevitable time that even if he wins, his vassals rebel against him, we'll just try and take it then. We don't need it now, so there's nothing really stopping us from just waiting him out. And the war in Scotland goes well. You are fighting. Why? Ah, because you just... That's strange. He probably rebelled because she's a woman. <laughs> as sexist as that sounds in a modern time, in the medieval ages it made perfect sense that if your ruler was a woman you would think, well, she's certainly not as strong. How can she possibly you know, win? If we're in a war or something like that, she can't ride to battle. I guess she could have. She could have done a Joan of Arc, but a lot of the time that didn't really happen, so people were understandably worried that their realm would not be stronger for it. Countess Adele has been released from the dungeon. That's good. The Lothian War for Prince Donald's claim has ended. Duncan of Scotland won. And King Robert the Just decided to remove her from his prisons. Sibylla de Harcourt, daughter of William, who has lost some of his traits, but he still hasn't picked up any bad ones, he's just lost some of his good ones, which is interesting. Um, 
Let's see, we'll give her out to a vassal that needs some reassuring that we care about them. Mm. There's not really anybody. Yeah, actually, there's not really anybody. Let's see what she's good at. Nothing. Well, that makes it easier then. We'll just give her to Anne. See if she can't put some of the fear into her. Oh, and as the world turns, it's almost the turn of the century. It is the year of the Lord, 1100. So how long exactly have we been in power? 34 years, I believe it is. Yep, 34 years this year. And we've done quite well. We've got three provinces. We're making a lot of money. Very nice. Uh, okay, a large merchant caravan from the distant lands has arrived at the gates of your stronghold. Sure, in you come. This is a good one. It gets you a uh, new fellow. The evening falls, the fat merchant sits by the fire and regales us with uh, stories of his travels. So he ordered the servants to bring a second serving. Tell us more about Hindustan. Dawn breaks and the caravan prepares to move on. The merchant insists on leaving you a gift. He, bring, he gives me an Enoch. Now these guys can be quite good. They can often have very, very good stats. So let's see what Suleiman has. Well, he's an Enoch, so he'll never have children. That's even worse than being celibate. A minus 5,000 penalty. He's diligent, temperate, and humble. Hmm. But he's not really very good at anything, so I guess we'll just have him sit around. And Catelyn, our final child, is now of legal age. She's actually done quite well, too. We're going to have a good run of stewards, I should think. Let's see. Is there anybody we could marry her off to who's somewhat interesting, good at what he does? Oh. That guy looks like he'll be a good all-rounder. We don't want to marry her to him, though. So he's Manfredo. We want to marry Anne to him. If we can. Wait, she, she's not. No, wrong Anne. Our Anne. Yes, that one. <laughs> Matrilineal marriage, hide that. He's young. But. He could be very, very good. Okay, now we find her a husband. Actually, maybe not matrilineal. Let's see, is there anybody good? If we don't marry her off matrilineally? Not really. Everybody's sort of good at one thing. Hmm. I suppose... Let's see. Let's give her to Renard. Now, he usually won't have a rank. That's strange. Maybe he swore fealty to part of Genoa. But let's have a look at the state of the world as is. Renard ar arrived at our court. Edmund Harrelson has been released from the dungeon. And Count Magnus of Dorset, ransom people. The church wants to organize a miracle play for the local saint in our domain. They seem to feel it should fall on our shoulders to pay for it. Hmm. Well, what does he think about the Pope versus us? Because if we can afford to annoy him... If we lose 33... So, sort of. We can also make him an anti-pope if we wanted to. That would make him uh, more favourable towards us, but... 
If the church wants it, the church pays for it, damn you. He'll be alright. Because we'll make him the High Almoner. Actually, no, we'll make him Cup Bearer. There you go. The Assassins spread to Syria. And Henry of Bayou. There we go. All good. Alright, so State of the World. Castile has actually done really well. Usually the Catholic realms fall to the Muslims very quickly. But Genoa's helping out there as well, so that might explain some of why they haven't. My liege, my work in Rennes seems to have come to fruition. By bribing, cajoling, extorting, and threatening... You have. Hmm. Hmm. Who's he got to call on as allies? The Duke of Gloucester. But I don't think he... The Duke of Gloucester. I don't know why I keep saying it like that. I don't think he can, though. I think... Modifiers... No, that's not what I want. Hmm. Where does it say... Ah, hang on. Where does it say exactly what they can do. Vassals can no longer wage private wars within the realm, so he might not be able to call on his allies. Nobody else has ever actually called on their allies when we've attacked them. We've got almost 1,100 personal troops, so... He's allies with the Duke of Anjou, who won't help. Adele, who probably won't help because she is uh, married to our son, William, Count of a Single Province, and he can't call the king. You cannot call your liege or above to war. Okay, perfect. Then his king probably won't help him. So pause that. If it ends up in a civil war, so be it. I'm happy with that. That belongs to King Robert, that belongs to the Duke, that belongs to Prince William, that's also Robert, that's also Robert. Alright, well in that case, go butter up the King. Go to Middlesex. See if you can't make him a happy camper with us. And we will declare war on you, sir. We claim the county. At the age of 66, we are once more going to war. It shouldn't be too difficult. He's got half the levies that he would normally have. Granted, we will as well, but he's also a boy, and that most likely means that his friends won't decide that they can... they, uh... will help him. So, raise our own private troops. We'll assemble in Mortain. We don't want to send them in Penny Packet. We've got another one? Oh, we can call in Adele. Okay. Maybe. We like your enemies too much. She probably won't come. So we won't call her. But by that same token, she most likely won't go to war against us. You know what, Robert? It's cool. You came to our wars twice in a row now. I, I, I can except you not coming this time. Uh, there's no real point raising the liege levies, so let's go. They'll arrive on the 16th, we'll arrive on the 15th. Perfect. And there's no river between us, so hopefully we'll slaughter them. And indeed we did. He has no standing army whatsoever. And I'm pretty sure that... Nope, he's got nobody helping him. This shouldn't be too difficult of a battle. But we've done fairly well thus far. I'm not setting out in this game to empire build. If we gain a duchy, I will be happy. Ideally, I'd like to, but I won't be declaring a kingdom or anything like that. We're winning the war, but... Nah. We won't call her. We don't need to call her. 